Hi, this is Joel Lynch for Tech Digest. We're at London's Trocadero, where we're trying out the new Toby iAstroids arcade machine. Now, this arcade machine uses no hands and is controlled just by the movements of my eyes. I'm going to hand it over to Toby's own Anders, who's going to talk us through the technology. Yeah. So, yeah, again, this is a um, classic looking arcade game, with the only difference being that there are no uh, controls at all, no joystick or anything. Instead, there's a bar here that's an eye tracker uh, that sends reflections off of your eyes and then measures those reflections with sensors. And the result is, you know, with about this level of precision, exactly where on the screen somebody's looking. So in the case of this game, we've used that information uh, for you to be able to just shoot down asteroids uh, simply by looking at them. So if we look at the screen here, we have all kinds of asteroids and other things approaching the Earth. And the challenge is to shoot down the asteroids with your eyes, and at the same time avoid shooting down uh, uh, other things that approach the Earth. So it's really strange. I mean, it feels like I'm controlling it with my mind almost, rather than my eyes. I guess just because we're so used to walking around the world and looking at stuff and having that as our main sort of, I guess, well, our visual way of understanding the world, isn't it? We use our way to pick up everything. And I guess we're already doing that in games, so it's almost like a natural progression. And uh, yes, it's a very natural progression. At first, it creates this very strong wow feeling because the computer or a game knows things that no other game could possibly know about you, i.e. exactly where you're looking. Uh, after a while, once you start getting used to it, it becomes very uh, relaxing an experience. Now, this isn't a trick, guys. I am actually genuinely using just my eyes to do this. And, I mean, I, I have to admit, I came in a little bit sceptical, but it really does work. I can pick out any asteroid on the screen, um, and I will shoot one down for you. Let's see if I can point at one and get it the next time there's a big one. Okay, that big one, oh, see, I've already got it. that one there, <laughs> see? Yeah. As soon as I'm looking at it, that one, I'm getting it, that one, that one, yeah, it's, it's lining up pretty much straight away. The eyes are faster than your fingers, so it's exactly. hard to get yeah. your fingers, yeah. So, Toby already a massive eye tracking manufacturer. Yes. Where can we already find your, your systems? Today the technology is used primarily for people with strong disabilities can't communicate in uh, any other way if you can't speak. You place an eye tracker on a wheelchair, and then just look at whatever words you want to say, and then the uh, computer with the eye tracker will speak those words sure. for you. So, we've already got them in laptops and stuff. How about gaming? Can we expect to see any Toby sort of gear in perhaps a, a next-gen console? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. So, I mean, this is a starting point. We're building 50 of these, rolling them out as arcades, but it makes sense in consumer electronics. It'll, within a couple of years it'll come out in laptops and it also is a very natural next step in uh, consoles where the console manufacturers are constantly looking for the next big thing. So how about yourselves? Do you have a dream project where you'd like to see uh, the eye tracking technology come in in terms of gaming? Yeah, personally, I mean, this is fun because it's just so immediate. You look at an asteroid, it's fast, it gets shot down. But you can all, also use it in much more subtle ways. Imagine an adventure game where you walk into a bar and then whatever you look at will just uh, respond to how you're looking. Look at a thug and he will stare back at you angrily and say, hey, why are you looking at me? Look at a woman, a beautiful woman, and she might walk up to you and start talking to you. Look at a little snail on the ground and the snail might uh, get scared and start trying to crawl away. And you can make the whole environment responsive that way. And then once you're used to that, playing a game that doesn't keep track of where you're looking will feel dead in comparison. Because in the real world, things will always happen based on what you're looking at. So, I'm right in saying that they also measure the size of your pupils. So that has to sort of bring an emotional response to the games as well, then? Uh, yeah, the pupil size will, to some extent, determine uh, your, your emotions. And that's uh, more subtle, it's not as direct as what you can do with uh, uh, just knowing where your eyes are looking, but that knowledge is there as well. That's great. So, have you got sites set in mind yet for the UK on asteroids, where will we be able to find them? Uh, we're rolling out 50 now, yep. and, but that's globally. And yeah. Some people are actually snatching them up just to put in their basements. Rich kids with their toys. Yeah, yeah, a little bit richer. Uh, otherwise, arcade games like Trocadero is a yep. great place to have it. And, uh, uh, you will also see it in receptions, that type of thing. We've got uh, interest from that. Buddy. Great, so 
Tech Digest fans, if you're looking to have a go of IO Stroids, head down to the UK's Trocadero and hopefully you'll be able to have a go. Many thanks Anders and take care guys.